Next Generation Toyota Camry due in 2024. The next generation Toyota Camry sedan is due in overseas showrooms in 2024 and expected in Australia late that year or early next. Next generation Toyota Camry due in 2024. The next generation Toyota Camry sedan is due in overseas showrooms in 2024 and expected in Australia late that year or early next as the Japanese car giant looks to buck the trend of declining sedan sales globally. Information unearthed by Drive has revealed development of the next-generation Toyota Camry is well-progressed, ahead of an arrival in overseas showrooms, pending any delays, in the middle of next year. Australian arrival timing is yet to be locked in. However, if history is a guide, new Toyota models are typically in local showrooms 6 to 12 months after they are unveiled internationally. The next Toyota Camry is understood to be behind schedule compared to previous generations, arriving seven years after the current model launch, compared to five or six years for previous versions. This is likely because the Toyota Camry now has less competition in the mid-size sedan segment and can stretch the timeline of the current model before replacing it. Given Toyota dealers in Australia are currently quoting 12-month wait times for the Camry Hybrid, some buyers in the queue today could find themselves taking delivery of the next-generation model. Toyota dealers began advising customers and writing from the middle of 2022 the final price of their vehicle and the standard equipment are subject to change. The long lead times have meant car companies are now starting to pass on increased manufacturing and transport costs. As a result, some customers that order today could be able to have their order converted to the next model in two years from now, with a different set of model grades, standard equipment levels, engines, and prices. Few details are known about the next-generation Toyota Camry, however given sales of traditional sedans are declining globally, it is likely to be an evolution of the model it replaces. That means it is likely to drape new bodywork, drawing cues from other recent Toyota models over an upgraded version of the TNG AK architecture below the car in showrooms today. The car styling has been imagined at the top of story by digital artist Theato. The Camry is among a shrinking number of Toyota cars left in showrooms that have not upgraded to the company's latest technology with a new infotainment system, larger touchscreens, and improved connected car technology. It is unclear if is reserving these upgrades for the next model or if they will be introduced to the current car in one final model year update within the next 12 months. In Australia, 80.2% of Camry sedans sold in 2022 used hybrid power, so the next generation model may place more focus on this version with fewer standard petrol engine models. However, standard petrol versions are likely to remain, as only 15% of Camrys sold in the U.S. are hybrids. When the current Camry arrived in Australia in late 2017, three of the nine model grades available were hybrids, and two petrol engines were available across most of the range, a 2.5-liter four-cylinder and a 3.5-liter V6. The popularity of hybrid versions and the axing of the petrol V6 in early 2021 has meant four of the five model grades are electrified and regular petrol power is only available in the base model ascent. Meanwhile, overseas versions of the new Camry are likely to ditch the current model's 3.5-liter non-turbo petrol V6 for a newer 2.4-liter turbo four-cylinder petrol engine, mirroring the switch made in the related Toyota Kluger family SUV for 2023. The 3.5-liter V6 was axed from the Australian Camry range in 2021 after it accounted for only 1% of sales, and that the vast majority of Camrys sold locally are hybrids means Toyota Australia may even be considering taking the whole Camry range hybrid only. If the new model offers more technology, more frugal hybrid power and a larger body, expect prices to rise over the current model, which costs $32,490 to $48,490 plus on-road costs after a price increase on January.